facing issues with your Vizio smart cards not working? Trust me, I've been there and I have devised a decent plan that will help you kickstart your Vizio smart cards as well. So stay tuned. Welcome to Bling Bling. Let's get started. If smart cards straight up doesn't open on your Vizio TV, then you might need to refresh the system. Thanks to the rather middling specs of Vizio TVs in general, you are bound to face quite a few lags and stutter in your Vizio UI. So if possible, try waiting it out and check if SmartCast is loading. If waiting doesn't help much, then there's one thing that you should do other than subscribing to our channel for more Vizio content of course. Even though SmartCast is a software feature, plenty of users have had their SmartCast fixed after power cycling their TVs for a couple of times. A power cycle is a very common troubleshooting step that ensures that your Vizio TV gets sufficient charge for its operations. It aids in depleting all the charges from the internal components of your Vizio TV, including any misbehaving and uneven charges from the system, and then charges it up from scratch, ensuring that the system gets completely refreshed. You can power cycle your Vizio TV by unplugging it from power and plugging it back in after a good minute. While you're at it, you can also try power cycling your Vizio remote in case it has issues transmitting the necessary commands in order to navigate SmartCast. You can power cycle the Vizio remotes by removing its batteries and popping them back in after a minute. If SmartCast is booting but not loading any content, then that's a completely different scenario. This could mean that there is something preventing your Vizio TV from accessing the SmartCast servers. Access to the internet is the primary key that Vizio TVs require in order to access everything that SmartCast has for you to offer. This is the main channel for communication, so if your internet is down, then SmartCast will definitely be stuck on its loading screen. So, first ensure that your internet is properly up and working. The best way to check if your internet is working is to connect your phone or a laptop to the same Wi-Fi network and check if you can access the internet. One way to clear out any temporary bugs from your internet router is to perform a power cycle. The process? It's the same. Unplug your router and plug it back in after a good minute. If you're still facing issues, then best to contact your internet service provider and patch your internet up as soon as possible. If your Vizio TV is stuck on SmartCast and is not booting into it, then it could be an issue of outdated firmware or an issue with too much bloat on your system. It's not often that we invoke updating the firmware of TVs in general, but it does help in patching up a lot of bugs that you are unknowingly riddled with. To update the firmware of your Vizio TV, tap on the settings button on your Vizio remote to access the TV settings. Then scroll down to all settings and select admin and privacy. Select check for updates and confirm your selection. You can also manually flash a firmware of choice on your Vizio TV by following our comprehensive guide on the topic from our website blingbling.com which I've made sure to plug in the description below. As a final step, you can also consider performing a factory reset on your Vizio TV. This wipes out all your data from your Vizio TV, including any bugs that might have been the reason behind SmartCast not working for you. To perform a factory reset on your Vizio TV, click on the settings button on your Vizio remote to access the TV settings. Then scroll down to all settings and select admin and privacy. Select Reset to Factory Settings and invoke the option to reset the TV. If your Vizio TV asks for a parallel code and you don't have one set up, then enter four zeros to finally initiate the reset process. And that's pretty much all I have for you in this video. If you found this video useful, feel free to comment your thoughts below and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.